This video explains what is an array index out of bounds exception, how to identify what caused this exception, and finally how to fix it. Let's first understand how an array index works in Java using an example. This statement creates an integer array of size 5. It also initializes the array with 5 elements. In Java, the array index starts from 0, not 1. That means that the first element of an array is located at index 0. Likewise, the last element of an array is stored at the index array length minus 1. In this case, it is 4. So the lower bound of our array is 0, because that is where our first array element is stored. The upper bound of our array is its length minus 1, that is 4. When we try to access an element of an array, using an index that is either less than the lower bound or greater than the upper bound, the array index out of bounds exception is thrown by Java. It simply means that the index we specify to access the element is out of the range for the given array. Let's write a simple class to demonstrate how to easily identify the exact problem that caused the array index out of bounds exception in our code. The class test has defined and initialized an integer array of size 5. The code then tries to access the array elements using the index integer variable. The code works fine as long as we specify an index that is in the range of the array. It prints the element located at the specified index. However, when we specify an index that is not within the array index bounds, the code throws array index out of bounds exception. Let's analyze the output and try to understand why that happened. Reading the stack trace is the most important thing while trying to figure out what went wrong in Java. This is the line where the exception has occurred. The stack trace also specifies the index for which the exception has occurred. In this case, it was minus 1. The same will happen if we try to specify an index that is greater than 4 because that is the upper bound of our array of size 5. In order to fix the problem, we should always check whether the index we specify is within the array lower and upper bounds. The lower bound of an array remains the same for every array that is 0. The upper bound of an array is its size minus 1. Let's do that in our code and run it again. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the array index out of bounds exception in Java. If you like this tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel.